Hey everybody, welcome to Lift Frame Tool on, on this channel. We love to test out tools. And today we have a very interesting tool. It's not a new tool, but I had a company, they wanted me to try it out and uh, just give my real opinion. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be taking a look. Universal socket. Now this is pretty interesting. Um, it is a 3 8 inch drive and the socket itself is 3 quarter inch. Um, it was super interesting because it has all these little um, steel rods, they're individually uh, spring or pressurized inside of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can see all the individual little pins and you can press down inside them. And the whole premise behind this is that when you press something down inside, it takes the shape of whatever you're pressing inside and it locks it into place and you can just crank away on it. So it's really kind of universal. It takes up to a three quarter inch. Um, you know hex head if you will but really it takes any shape as long as it fits inside there and something else I forgot to mention this actually comes with a chuck adapter so it goes right in there it's 3 8 inch and uh, that actually comes with it so let's go ahead and pop this thing in okay so it's locked in let's see if we can't pull this out here I forgot how big this was. This is a, uh, God, that is an eight inch, three eighths inch lag screw. Wow, that just pulled that right out of there with no issue. And, and you know what, the springs are still working. Check this out, let's get a close up here. Ah, uh, there we go, look. They're still working, I didn't bind them up or break them. Okay, for the ye old standard, this is the uh, eye screw here. Uh, you can see that these really suck put, pushing in. I usually put a hook on, put it in a uh, chuck and try to get it in, but let's see what we can do here. We'll get it started. Oh, man, I feel like MacGyver right now. Look how easy that was. Oh, God bless it, man. I should give this more credit, I really should. All right. Let's see if this can drive this in, the three eighths inch, five, uh, five inch. We can take it out, but can we drive it in? Here we go. Oh, hey, there we go. We drove it in. Look, the springs are still working. Check that out. Look at this. You see that? Yeah, they're all still working. They're still coming out, no problem. See if we can't pull it out. Hey, woo! Ow, shit! Ah, that's hot! Yep, comes out. Alright, strength test. It passed those two. And this is what I want to do. This is just a 516 screw. Let's see if we can't just screw this in here real quick. See how deep we can get it. Not practical. Hey, right, it actually drove it. So I think in a pinch, this this is okay. You could get by with something like that. I mean, it is universal and all, but uh, yeah, I'll give it to it. It drove it in. That's better than not, you know? But let's just go for an auger bit. This is a one inch auger bit. Let's see if we can't just drill right through this and uh, you know. So as you can see that this is regular hex drive here. This is something that you would put inside of a chuck so it's not quarter inch. Let's just see what we can do here. We'll get it started. Make sure it's kind of centered, you know? Here we go. All right, so, I mean, it wasn't pretty, but it actually gripped it and it got the job done, so. But at the end of the day, you know, what are we really trying to do here? Uh, I'm trying to give you a unique test, maybe something that you haven't seen with one of these universal sockets before. You're not always going to be using it on bolts, and uh, you're not going to be in a situation to where you can use it always on bolts. So let's put it out there in unique situations that maybe you haven't thought of before. And you know, I think it performed well under the circumstances. So, um, you know, like I said, this was sent to me to give it a shot. And I always give these a shot um, in very unique ways, the best uh, way that I can possible. If you are interested in one of these, it's at a low cost. It's only like 10 bucks. And uh, check out the link in the description. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like the content. and. Uh, Hit the like button as well, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.